when did you find out? This morning. Coach says I'm starting guard for the rest of the season. I just have to police the C plus on all my midterms. Oh! <laughs> right on. Hey, it's gonna take a lot to hire you, miss. If you ever pray, sorry if I didn't reply to you, miss. I ain't never played, that's exactly why I fired you, miss. Wait, wait, wait. Did you have a vision? Did it have anything to do with me dating a cheerleader? You know, it wasn't really anything that important. Man, this is the best day of my life. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> yeah, right. Nothing. How does one go from childhood Disney stardom to broke, then a criminal, then crackhead, then recovers from all of that just to become a clout chasing, struggling rapper? And to get to the bottom of all of this, we gotta go back to the beginning. Maybe not as far back as like his birth and childhood, just his acting career. His career started somewhere along the medieval era of the world, 1995 to be exact, where he got his debut as Cadet Tiger Dunn on Major Pain, a movie before my Time. I'm not gonna lie. And after that debut, young Orlando was on a roll. He casted in a few other roles on a few popular TV shows at their time. You feel me? Life was good for him. But in 2003, Disney Channel would make one of their top tierest of shows. That's so Raven. A show that followed Raven Baxter, played by Raven Simone, dealing with her daily life problems, boys, things of that nature. But what really made the show different is Raven had visions. In my opinion, her power really was wasn't that useful but it didn't really matter she wasn't like no marvel superhero so her power kinda just moved the plot forward and it made the show interesting i'm not gonna lie and orlando was casted in the show as one of raven's best friends and later on love interest the show would last for four seasons for over a hundred episodes and during this time the cast was having a lot of success obviously it was a very successful show and raven being the star of the show obviously had most of the success and after the show ended you gotta wonder where is she gonna end up fast forward to 2016 raven's actually doing pretty well she's lesbian she got her gig on the view everything's all good in raven's world on the other hand her former co-star was dealing with life on the complete opposite of what raven was doing i went inside the land of the man that wants to go inside if he can but couldn't do it man but i did i said i could do it and i can um, uh, <laughs> imagine that as the clit man See, we're gonna take it to another level. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go. It's like this. You know, you know, you have to hold it, you flip it, and it comes on you. <laughs> Legs this way, you go. <laughs> and then uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Orlando was losing it. In February of the same year, Orlando was arrested and charged with domestic violence, obstruction of justice, and drug possession with intent to sell said drugs. Basically, this guy was nearing rock bottom and still was continuing to wall out. So he's taken into custody by police a few months after his initial arrest. And at this point, he's jailed for a little while. And not even an entire month later, he's released from jail, right? He then fails to show up for a court date. And so then police put out a warrant for his arrest. This dude tried to flee from Cali to Vegas. So they send out bounty hunters to find Orlando, right? And they found him hiding in the closet of somebody's home. So clearly this is where I would say it's rock bottom for him, right? So his family members and friends sit him down for a little intervention. They say like, yo, Orlando, your wallet. You used to be on Disney, man. And now you're a junkie, man. Like, what's up? Feel me? They send him to rehab. Have. but he went to rehab only for about a week just to be photographed walking down the street with a box of wine bare duck to foot jump to 2022 orlando seems to have gotten better since his past and put all that negative energy into music bro i find the stem below i need the grammy so flat to the same people high cause they barely do party go steady go try to dimension though why like a bench you know shot got the edges those life is a fancy rose no touching the liquor my thoughts on the song personally i wouldn't listen to it but this is a way better alternative than drugs but it seemed like he got a fan base of old heads that mess with his music so good for you orlando <laughs> even though your music's buns it's keeping you out the streets y'all let me know if y'all think orlando had a better music career than raven but y'all like subscribe and i'm out <laughs>